In an amazing development, Bolton head of police Louis Elegan has been arraigned. This isn't simply one more embarrassment, it very well may be the one that at last cuts down Dalton's so-called super city hall leader, Tiffany Henyard. So what does this prosecution mean for Henyard might her realm of defilement at any point be self-destructing? And will her top copy having to carry out a very long time in jail turn on her to save himself? How about we find out together? Will we obviously before we go any further ensure first that you buy into our channel and hit that warning chime for additional updates and recordings like this? Presently, how about we get rolling? It's the acting police head of Dalton currently having to deal with government penalties. A terrific jury arraigned him on liquidation misrepresentation charges today. So Lightfoot's examination essentially as per legal administrators is back on now. She conceded to a $2 million spending plan shortage anyway. Legal administrators say it's truly millions more when all the chairman Tiffany Henyard the previous evening burning through. No time closing down legal administrators and pundits. The rejection message um, is connected with a mysterious assignment. Yes, that the leading body of legal administrator bureaucratic examiners spread out a nine count arraignment as a detriment to the grown up and official guaranteeing he contrived a plan. Do. Do via petitioning for financial protection. Here's what is going on. Louis Frilly Dolan's head of police and one of Henard's nearest partners has been hit with charges that could take care of him for quite a while time. Louis Fancy is having to deal with penalties connected with cash conspire that shook Dolton. Yet certain individuals believe there's more going on. The prosecution, which has nine counts, says Silky lied under O to conceal his resources and pay to try not to pay more than $440,000 in a claim repayment he's accused of. Chapter 11, Misrepresentation, Offering Misleading Expressions in a Liquidation Case and Prevarication, each conveying as long as five years in jail, Elegant, who is 61 and lives in Madison, as of late, appeared in court wearing a blue suit, just talked momentarily to affirm that he comprehended the charges Elegant's attorney Lady Petty argued not blameworthy for him, despite the fact that Petkey contended Against it, as Officer Judge Beth Chance concluded that Frilly should surrender his work weapon and two different firearms from his home. He likewise needed to surrender his gun proprietor's ID card. Anyway, Judge Chance said she could re-examine these limitations if Petsky can show what they mean for Frilly's occupation with the DLAN Police Division. A status hearing is booked. For October 1st with U.S. Region Judge Thomas Durkin. The charges against Frilly aren't connected with his police work, yet they add to the administrative examination concerning affirmed debasement by Chairman Henyard. You know me, ma'am. Are you declining to give me your permit? I gave you my driver's permit. Number. Give your permit. I won't arrive at. Give me an official. Another official. Come. I'll go after it. I won't arrive at. I got weapons on me and my stuff is in Frilly's arraignment is the perfect most recent issue for Chairman Henyard, who has proactively confronted a few. Bureaucratic summons this year, Fancy's legal counselor, let the press know that the charges are essential for a greater work to ruin the chairman. Pisey featured Silky's long assistance and solid standing as a cop in Dalton. This is a witch chase attempting to cut down Mr. Elegant to get to the chairman, Pisey said, accepting Silky is being designated to subvert Henyard, the town of Dalton's legal administrators, as of late, chosen to put Silky on endless semi-voluntary vacation anyway. Petsky has tested this move, saying the legal administrators don't have the position to do that, and contending that Fancy ought to in any case be paid. They're acting in a way that as I would like to think isn't legitimate, Petsky said, taking note of that the chairman signs the checks, I experienced difficulty following it too. A yet presently, a Keith Freeman is coordinating doing what he ought to have been finished in any case helping out legal administrators with the legal administrators totally going about his business. The arraignment shows that Frilly has a long history of monetary difficulties beginning, harking back to the 1980s with a few individual Chapter 11 filings in Chicago. The most recent filings in 2019 and 2020 clearly assisted him with deferring a repayment he had consented to in 2017 with somebody in a state legal dispute. The claim was about a lady whose spouse was killed. In 2012, the claim guarantees that Frilly visited the lady on various occasions and convinced her to give him a huge number of dollars from her significant other's life coverage payout. While Frilly conceded in court papers that he had communicated compassion and kept an eye on her prosperity, he denied taking any cash. The claim was ultimately agreed to $55,000 with Elegant, making an underlying installment of $112,000 anyway.
The misrepresentation charges say that Frilly petitioned for financial protection two times to abstain from paying the leftover $43,000. Court archives show that Frilly didn't completely report his month-to-month -month pay and concealed ledgers. He controlled in his filings and proclamations, having sworn to tell the truth. He likewise purportedly lied about being isolated from his significant other, asserting she didn't reside with him or help with his pay and home loan installments. These untruths help Fancy lower his revealed pay and evade banks. As per the charges, this prosecution isn't an irregular occasion. It very well may be the beginning of bringing down the entire degenerate framework. Hennard has constructed it. A pivotal turning point for Dalton, and it seems like equity is at last being served, makes this considerably seriously fascinating that Frilly isn't a police boss. He's been one of Hennard's most faithful allies, supposedly taking care of her grimy responsibilities for quite a long time to truly get. A handle on the circumstance, we really want to take a gander at how Tiffany Henyard has supposedly transformed the Dalton police office into her own masters, under her authority. The police force is said to have become turned into a gathering of hooligans doing all that from blackmailing neighborhood organizations to threatening political opponents and giving confidential security to Henyard and her partners. He Freeman don't work here. He's by so quit playing these senseless games line. Legal administrators and placing individuals, Al and Yah, do what you need yet anything after this is in subjection. Frilly's prosecution is a major break in the bad framework, assuming he decides to help out specialists to stay away from a long jail sentence. He could uncover a ton about how Henyard has abused the police power, and there's a ton he could spill. Here's where it gets truly fascinating with Frilly having to deal with serious penalties. He could begin conversing with Save himself on the off chance that he does. Henyard could be in the hot water we've witnessed. This before, when individuals are pushed into a tight spot, they're in many cases prepared to share all that to save themselves. Silky has been in Henyard inward circle, so he realizes every one of the insider facts, by and large. On the off chance that he begins talking, Henyard could wind up having to deal with criminal penalties as well, and Elegant wouldn't be quick to flip. There are now bits of hearsay that others in Henyard's organization are prepared to turn on her too, as a matter of fact. Some as of now have a half year prior, Robert Collins, the previous police head of South Rural Doton at long last, stood up against the dubious security detail gave to Chairman Tiffany Henyard. Collins made sense of how the chairman's request for individual insurance made it harder for him to battle wrongdoing locally. Furthermore, 2023 a Fox 32 examination uncovered that a Henyard security detail wasn't simply pulling officials from watching the roads. However, it was likewise costing citizens huge number of dollars and extra time. The burden on police assets turned into a difficult issue under Collins' initiative. The labor was extended slender to the point that it nearly broke. Collins shared that as opposed to having officials on watch where they were required, they were relegated to safeguard the city hall leader presently residing in Florida, subsequent to being discharged by Hennard toward the end of last year. Collins communicated his profound disappointment. He discussed driving a police division that was at that point short-staffed and exhausted while as yet being compelled to designate assets to Henyard enormous individual security detail. We frantically required these officials on the roads battling run doing Colin expressed, yet rather they were relegated to chopper the chairman. Around its off base, and somebody should be considered responsible, it would seem Dalton cops were going through their days driving Henyard around frequently to her subsequent citizen-supported work as Thornton Municipality Manager in South Holland, and open records demand showed that these officials were piling up many hours, in additional time costing citizens a huge number of dollars. This degree of safety for a modest community with a little more than 20,000 occupants battling monetarily raised serious worries Dalton frequently has a couple of cops on the job perk. Shift and Collins contended that those officials were critically required somewhere else. Henyard's security detail was at first legitimate beginning in 2021 after a police-included shooting in Dalton prompted fights and dangers against her. Collins concurred that the detail was required during that strained period yet. As the dissent subsided, the security didn't proceed with it extended. Collins saw that it immediately turned out to be clear the officials were being involved more for individual tasks than for genuine security needs. Collins shared that officials allotted to Henyard were much of the time shipped off, get things done, get and drop off things, and do different errands that had close to nothing to do with safeguarding the chairman. The security detail additionally piled up a huge number of dollars in movement costs as they went with Henyard on Utoff town trips. How could the chairman need a security detail on Utoff town trips? Collins addressed who precisely is representing a danger to her at these far-off areas. 
Penyard security detail made it difficult for Collins to handle wrongdoing in Dalton in February, a firearm occasion on Cy Lane left four individuals harmed. Misfortune that Collins thinks might have been less extreme with a more grounded police presence. Dalton is managing difficult issues, including packs, guns, and substances, as per Collins. Those officials ought to be on the road serving the local area, not accompanying the chairman when perceivability is low crooks feel. Encouraged when Fox 32 attempted to get some information about her utilization of the police detail, Dalton Town Director Keith Freeman stepped in, hindering their camera and preventing her from responding to any inquiries. We wanted those officials to be on the road battling wrongdoing. And on second thought, we have a few officials that are riding around safeguarding. The chairman Colin said he confronted a similar obstruction when he attempted to raise the issue. With Freeman, who got over his interests, it was clarified to me that these were the orders and I needed to follow them, Collins shared last week. Collins recorded a common claim against the town of Doton for unfair, and he guaranteed that Henyard shot him without cause and without load-up endorsement, on the grounds that since his better half was companions with a portion of the chairman apparent political foes, our position is that the end was unlawful, said Richard Impact, Collins' lawyer and an expert in police issues Impact contended that Collins, a carefully prepared cop, was unfairly excused by Henyard boss. Collins is a patrolman on a fundamental level, and his discharging was completely uncalled for.